just making sure that he has all the love and time for himself too. But he has always not been the most social dog with other animals. He tends to just like do his own thing. Like we've had so many family members either have their dogs here with them or we've watched their dogs and he kind of just always has been more of a loner. So I just think it's going to take him some time. Let's fix that ear. I think once he knows that she's going to be here, we'll see him warm up. There's no growling or like aggressiveness. They ju he just doesn't really interact. But see, you're also 15. See, you're 15, you're old man. We love you. This girl, on the other hand, has started a new game. She carries every toy from the office to her bed. Every toy. Around nine o'clock, Danielle is actually coming over. We're going to do some work as well as just hang out. She wants to meet Mabel. So I'm going to make a frittata and just using what I have with some tomatoes and onion and cheese. She's going to bring over a couple things. We're going to do some mimosas. We're going to clean our floors today. And then I have to fix our windowsill in the dining room. So this house is by a custom builder. We absolutely love them. They're phenomenal but opted for wood framed custom windows, more expensive, very well made. All of our window sills, all of the lips, everything is wood. And Bubba's in his younger years used to jump up and bark. Even now he still does, he just isn't, he doesn't have the strength to do as much, but he has, I'm gonna be very honest with you, like, ripped up our window sills. <laughs> so today my goal, I might just get all the sanding done, but my goal is to like get all of that sanded down nice and smooth and then start coating it with paint. This is floral white. Someone mentioned um, that the trim work sometimes looks a little different than the paint. It's just because the finish is different. My walls are eggshell, but this has a satin, so it like catches more light and reflects more. So sometimes my trim looks whiter, but they're both floral white by Benjamin Moore. It's just the sheen on that paint makes it look a little different. So we're gonna fix those trims today. We're gonna hang out with Danielle a little bit. We're gonna do some floor cleaning. And who else knows what we'll get into? Two sleepy doggies. Our neighbors came over and met her yesterday and they couldn't get over how good she was. She has, her ornery time is morning. Like, she is ornery. Also, one thing we're learning about her is she likes dirt, any type of dirt. So, caught her trying to get dirt out of the fiddle leaf fig pot. We caught her under the, the huge hosta outside trying to eat dirt. I caught her in my herb garden this morning trying to eat some dirt. Ooh, like dirt. Ooh, so like a dirt. Yes, you do. That's your one, that's your one tricky trait. Did you say good morning to your brother? <laughs> See, he's just like unfazed by her. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get them settled in. Steven is getting ready to head off for work and then we'll get the frittata going. There is something so relaxing about today, Stephen headed off to work. Bubby and I spent about an hour cuddling on the couch, just making sure that he is feeling so loved. It's like really important to me. I get like some big feelings about it. Just never want him to feel like he was replaced or anything. So we're being really cognizant of it. He's the only one that's allowed to sleep in our bed with us because that's our tradition. Um, we're just trying to be really aware of it. Steven, even when he was going, leaving for work, he said, 
goodbye to Mabel first, but made sure that Bubba's was the last one. Oh, I see we're bringing another toy to the bed. Um, but it just feels so relaxing. I also want to recommend this album to you. It's not getting a lot of recognition because of all the albums that were released in the past week, like Lizzo's, who is like kind of dominating the news right now as far as albums. But Christina Perry, a songwriter that I've always really appreciated, wrote a song called A Lighter Shade of Blue. Not a song, an album, A Lighter Shade of Blue. And it's just beautiful, super mellow. So I'm playing that today. I opened up all the windows because it's finally going to rain all day. And I just want to hear it coming down. And then I am also prepping the frittata. So I'm going to make it a simple one. It's going to do some tomatoes. Um, and I have some salt and pepper with them. Turn this down just a little. I have them in some olive oil right now going. And then I did two small shallots. Always before you throw everything for your frittata, always cook your veggies first. So, just going to have these tomatoes cooked down a bit. Get some of the excess liquid out of it so my frittata doesn't get runny. Get some good flavor on them. Some onion and some good cheese. I'm going to grate some really good Parmesan cheese into it. So, that's what we're doing. It is like nine o'clock at night. Mabel, Bubba's, and Steven are all upstairs in bed. And this is always the time that I choose to do my floors because I know they'll have tons of time to dry and get clean. I will show you what I mix in my bucket in a second, but I want to show you my mop that I use. I have tried every hardwood cleaner in the world. I'm telling you, this is what works the best. So the way I always do my floors is the first thing I just dry broom them and get the big things off. Then I take my Dyson vacuum and go over it one more time because it has a hardwood setting. And then lastly, I take my Dyson handheld and go around all the edges of my cabinets just to get everything. That takes me a few minutes. I mean, it takes a decent amount of time to sweep it really well. About every other month, I will move that rug and the whole table out and do under it but this is kind of my bi-weekly floor cleaning so i sweep often but this is like what i do once every other week just to keep my floors looking really good this is my mop i've tried every hardwood mop sponge thing this is by far the best in here, and I'll show you the container in a minute. I put a splash of the Bona Floor spray in here, and then the rest is all white vinegar in scalding hot water. Then this is my O Cedar mop. So you just go get your mop wet. It goes straight into this section. It is the most mess-free mop ever. I give it three pumps. You just keep it upright and kind of let it spin in your hand. And then it is perfect and ready to go. I got mine from Amazon. It's the best price I've been able to find. It is the cleanest mop ever. Literally comes with like three mop heads. You throw them in the washer, they last forever. And I cannot say enough about this mop. It is my go-to and I love it and my floors will look beautiful. The white vinegar really does give them like a nice shine. And I just add the Bona because I think it also helps add a little bit of shine to the floor. But this is what I do. I wait for everyone to go up to bed and I do my floors. Get ready for it. I slept in a little bit, it's 5 a.m. Steven, Mabel, and Bubba's are all still asleep upstairs. I actually fell asleep on the couch and slept downstairs because I was obsessed with getting these floors done. The white vinegar does such a good job. You can see the shine on the floor. The vinegar does a great job of breaking down anything that might be on them and I could not, could not be happier with 
how that works and it's all that I've used for quite some time. Later today, I want to do all the tile. I do the same thing, I just use white vinegar on my tile, but this needs swept well. Um, I feel like it hasn't been done in a while. So I wanna get that swept really well and taken care of before we do anything today though. I need a cup of coffee. I'm just kind of obsessed with these mugs. So we'll use this one again. The day today has kind of gotten away from me and I have not gotten everything I wanted to get done done. I wanted to get the dining room window taken care of. That's not happening. I wanted to get the tile cleaned in the mud room, the Peloton room, and the powder room. That's not happening. Um, I just wrapped up an hour Zoom. I was interviewed for some leadership training coming up and they just wanted me to like unpack a couple questions for them. So I just wrapped that up. It was kind of nice because they were questions that I don't always think about answering. So that was fun. They did recommend that I should write a book, but that is something I would love to do someday. And I just don't know where you even start. I don't know if you know link a resource down below. But yeah, it kind of got away from me. I did clean my laundry room a bit and the dogs have been amazing. They're getting a little bit closer. So like laying together closer, Bubba's is doing really well. He's like choosing to lay closer to her. So like every day is a little bit better. But other than that, this day has been pretty simple. She is bringing toys out as we speak um, to her bed. It's just so cute. Those aren't her originally toys that we bought for her, we would never like overindulge her that much. Those are toys that Bubba's had for 15 years that have been in a basket in Steven's office and she found them and started playing with them. We didn't even give them to her. Um, she kind of created them on her own. She kind of found them on her, well, she found them on her own and have made them her own. So that's what's up. Very, very low key day but I could not be more proud of how great they are doing. One thing I did get done is the laundry room. I love the laundress materials. I have their sweater stone, a sweater comb, a stain brush. I use all of their products. I'm almost out of my stain solution. For Steven to comment on a laundry detergent, you know it has to be good, but I love the laundress. And then I have all my cleaning supplies here for easy reach. Um, I'll link these. These are my favorite um, spray bottles on Amazon. They're fantastic. I have them in my kitchen as well. So I cleaned all the shelves. I cleaned out my sink, everything. So it's nice and clean in the laundry room. I'm actually a laundry fanatic. I love laundry. Um, I haven't eaten today, but I made <laughs> Mabel and Bubba's organic turkey bacon. They've each had like a slice and a half. I'm gonna save those other two and break it up on their dinner. So that is legit all that is happening right now. I am going to get my workout done and then talk about dinner. I also wanna share a dinner I made last night that was super simple. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, she has so much growing into her legs to do. Look at her though. She is already, it makes me really happy that she is so at home. Like already like rolling over for belly rubs, giving kisses. From day one of being timid, she has like made this home her own. You own the place now, along with him. My treadmill gets replaced tomorrow, super excited. But I wanna show you these towels. They are called Face Soft. They are infused with carbon to detox your skin while you're using them. And then actually the washer and dryer reactivate it and they last for a really long time. They're really nice, they dry quick, they don't hold odor. Really, really loving these. Do you love them too? Your face is beautiful. All right, I have to go get cleaned up because I stink. All that I'm doing for dinner tonight is steaming some pot stickers. Last night I did something really easy and fast and you don't have to thaw them. So I just used frozen cheese tortellini. I feel like ravioli would have worked better. And I put a little bit of marinara in a pan 
put the frozen tortellini in. And then on my burner, I also did marinara and ground uh, lean hamburger. And I layered that with cheese. And so I did like um, uh, tortellini, the meat sauce, cheese, spinach that I had wilted down, tortellini, meat sauce, cheese, spinach. I did like three and then I tore apart some fresh mozzarella on top, baked it for like 30 minutes at 400 degrees. It was fantastic and some of the tornellini got like crispy on the edges. It was delicious and such an easy dinner. Tonight's gonna be even easier. I am going to make um, a dipping sauce that I make all the time. You're my friends, so I'm going to be very direct right now. For this recipe, you have to use chunky peanut butter because you need the texture of it. So I'm not gonna make too much tonight. I'm gonna do two spoonfuls to that. Some crushed red pepper, some toasted sesame oil, some low sodium soy sauce, and some honey. Once again, things like this, I have no measurements for. You just guess. And then I'm gonna get some hot water to loosen this up. I do find that mixing this with a fork most of the time works way better. But just a little hot water. And then you wanna eyeball to see if you need to add any more. And I just kind of whisk it till everything combines. And you get everything like broken down and like emulsified. Like see that's still way too thick. Add very, li add very little amounts of water. There we go, it's a nice consistency. When Steven comes home, those dumplings now will take me about seven to 10 minutes. So it'll be a breeze. I always just use these little dipping dishes for the sauce. I'm gonna throw a bag of freezer bag broccoli. Done. Okay friends, Steven is home. We're gonna eat dinner and I'm going to wrap this up. It has been a busy day and a great day. Feeling a little tired being the stay at home dad taking care of a 15 year old and a five month old. Uh, but I will see you all soon. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind, kindness is free. Give to everyone until next time which will be soon. Bye-bye.